In this video, we will show you the basics of using iTick Mobile from One Call Concepts. iTick Mobile is a new version of iTick that has been optimized for use on your smartphone. To get started, first log into iTick using your smartphone's web browser. When looking at the main menu, click the button labeled iTick Mobile. On the next page, you will find a series of instructions with two buttons at the bottom. First, click the Save button. This will allow your phone to store your contact information. Then click Continue. This will bring you to the iTick Mobile login screen. This is where you will create an icon on your smartphone's desktop for quick and easy access to iTick Mobile. If you are using an iPhone, you can set the desktop shortcut by first clicking the button in the center of the Safari control panel, located at the bottom of the screen. Then click the button labeled Add to Home Screen. Choose a name for your shortcut, then click Add. You can now access iTig Mobile with a single click. Enter the same login and password that you normally use to access iTig. If you clicked the Save button earlier, this should be the only time you need to enter your login and password for iTig Mobile. Click Next and you will be brought to the iTig Mobile main menu. To begin a new ticket, click Begin Ticket. From here, the ticket entry process will feel very similar to the desktop version of iTig. Both the iTig user information and excavator information sections will be pre-filled with the information stored in your iTig account. The next page is contact information and excavation information. You can access the profile stored in your iTig account by clicking the Select Profile drop-down menu. Otherwise, you can enter the information manually. The keyword auto search function will provide a list of potential matches as you type. Clicking Next will bring you to the Location Information section. Enter the job's location information just as you would on any normal locate request. The keyword auto search function will also work in both the street and intersecting street fields. Clicking Next will bring you to the Map It section. With iTick Mobile, you have access to all four map views that are normally available in the desktop version of iTick. If iTick finds the address you have entered, the Change Shape and Change Size buttons should be available and can be used to cycle through a list of computer generated polygons. You can also hand draw your polygon by first clicking the clear button and then tapping the screen where you would like to place the corners of your polygon. To adjust your polygon, simply click and hold on one of the corner points, drag it to the desired location, and release. If Google Street View is available, you can use it to help verify you are mapping in the correct area. When you are done with your mapping, click the Next button and you will be brought to the Work to Begin Date screen. Here, you can adjust your Work to Begin Date. Clicking Next again will bring you to the Utility Notification List, which will display a complete list of the utilities being notified by Lone Star 811. At this point, clicking Next will release your ticket to the call center for review. You will be presented with a ticket number. Be sure to write it down. You can now begin a new ticket or return to the main menu by clicking Home.